Cat Girls, Men's Truly Best Friends and Likely a Superior Life Form to Humans. And I say this as a non-furry. Cat Girls would be, in a realistic medieval fantasy world, likely pretty overpowered compared to humans. And here's why. First and foremost, Cat Girls, especially in anime, are essentially just men or women, with various degrees of feline features. These usually include a tail, cat ears and perhaps whiskers, as well as cat eyes and enhanced senses of smell. And these things alone would make any cat girl or cat boy for that matter way superior to a human under almost any circumstances. First and foremost, in a medieval world where no smartphones outside of that one isekai exists, where there's no GPS or even detailed maps or even any affordable maps, maps at all, being able to rely on enhanced senses is incredibly valuable. Think about it. Imagine a group of people traveling to a forest. The cat girl would be able to scout ahead because she can see well in relative darkness. She also has an enhanced sense of smell, thus acting as an early warning system for any approaching dragons, wyverns, trolls, ogres, or the average cat girl enjoyer. A skill realistic cat girls would also need in our own world, but that's beside the point. And finally, thanks to the tail, cat girls could balance themselves way better and thus navigate the dense forest way better and especially if they run. They can keep their balance way better than us humans, since their tails would act as a counterweight. So even if the group is attacked by a monster, that is smart enough to conceal its presence, or a cat girl enjoys smart enough to shower once in a blue moon, then she would be able to simply rely on the age-old survival trick of just being a little faster and a little more agile than the rest of the group, and therefore escape. And therefore cat people would also be great night watchmen and guards, great scouts, and likely also great traders, almost by default since they could smell, for example, how much meat or fish a certain shopkeeper has and whether or not it is fresh or needs to be sold soon, because it would otherwise spill. Cat people would perhaps also be able to smell how much gold a certain individual has with him, or conduct a quick and dirty purchase without paying actually for anything and then escaping, thanks to their greater speed, reflexes and agility. Moreover, the cat people would also likely have claws, making them a bit more deadly in melee combat, especially when paired with their reflexes, speed and agility, not to mention their better balance. Oh, and if you have a tail to act as a counterweight, cat girls could also Naruto run more effectively, which is OP all on its own. Jokes aside though, since cat girls are just normal human people with greater eyesight, better hearing, better smell, better reflexes and better bodily balance, cat girls would almost always be overpowered compared to humans. So, would they even have any disadvantages? Aside from being an otaku magnet, well, yes. Their comparably shorter lifespan, cat girls should not only receive the boons of a cat, but also some of its disadvantages so they would not only act like spoiled brats most of the time, which is just a cat's default personality, but they would also live, let's say, only half as long as we humans do. Perhaps they mature at 10 or 12, are working age until they are a bit over 30, and then die within the next 4 to 7 years, at least on average, with some really lucky ones reaching their 50s and some, like 1 out of a million or so, their 60s, which would be the equivalent of being 120 years old. So this would be exceedingly rare and most cat people would not even reach their 40s. Now of course, if you include tigers and lions into the definition of cat people, then they would also be significantly stronger, because they would also have access to the bestial strength of a tiger or a lion. 
But again, just the basic anime cat girl that's would be... That's not a cat girl, that's Felix. What do you mean he's called Felix?